Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So just over a year ago, I released a video on this little device. Now this is the RX888 Mark II SDR receiver. Now it covers from one kilohertz right up to 1.7 gigahertz, and it has a little trick up its sleeve. Now you notice there are two antenna ports, which are standard SMA females. Now the V port covers from 64 megahertz up to 1.6 gigahertz, and the H port covers from one kilohertz up to 64 megahertz. Now both of which can provide a bias T to power things like LNAs, for example. Now the USB connection on this SDR is actually a type B USB 3. Now that's because a USB 2 would not provide enough USB transfer speed. So just make sure you're connected to a USB 3 port on your computer. Otherwise, you'll probably find you're gonna get stutters, which will pretty much make it impossible to listen to. Now what's cool about the RX888 Mark II is that above 64 megahertz, you can receive a total bandwidth of 10 megahertz at the same time. But on frequencies less than 64 megahertz, you can receive a massive 64 megahertz bandwidth at the same time. So what does this mean? Well, we can listen or view the entire HF band at the same time, which is absolutely insane if you have a multi-band antenna because you can sit and watch as each band comes active throughout the day. Now, before I show you this in action, let me just explain how you get the RX888 working with your computer. Now, I'll be covering installation on Windows and using an RX888 Mark II with SDR console in this video. Now ensuring that you have the SDR plugged in to a USB 3 port on your computer that can provide at least two amps, you can take a look at the device manager to see if you already have the driver installed. Now if you do, then you'll see a Cypress FX3 device listed. If not, you'll see a Westbridge entry in other devices, which means there's no driver installed. Now from this same page, which I'll link below, you can download the correct driver. And once installed, you'll be ready to move on to setting up SDR console. So SDR console is a free SDR application that works with a huge range of SDR receivers. And luckily the RX888 Mark II is one of them. Now once SDR console is running, we need to select a radio and then add a definition. From the drop down list, just select the RX888 and then click the add button. Now, when you select the SDR from the radio list here, you can change the bandwidth. Now I've set mine to the maximum of 64 megahertz. So you can then just press start. However, if you cannot see 64 megahertz from that drop down list, then you'll need to enter the software and select the radio options. Then go ahead and change the ADC sampling frequency to 128 and then just click OK. You should now be able to go back and select 64 megahertz. Now with the center frequency set to around 32 megahertz, we can now see from one kilohertz right up to 64 megahertz at the same time. You can clearly see all those signals lowered down on the left as we're using my NFED wire antenna connected to the HF port on the RX888. Of course, you can zoom in and select a station if you want to listen to one. Uh, my brother on a Norfolk Island, VK9 Delta X-ray, uh, just uh, search pa for papers. However, SDR console has a couple of really cool features. You can either add a second RX panel or you can use the matrix feature. There are some predefined layouts already there for you, like amateur low, amateur high, and broadcast bands. Now on the amateur low layout, we have the entire 160 meter band, the entire 60 meter band, 80 meter band, and 40 meter band. And with the amateur high matrix layout, we have 30, 17, 12, 20, and 15, and of course, 10 meters. Of course, if you are a shortwave DX listener, then this screen, the broadcast all matrix, would be super useful, as you can see live activity on most of those broadcast bands. Now the amateur full matrix shows all of the HF handbands from 160 meters right up to 10 meters, and this is all in real time. Of course, this will only be as good as your antenna is on each band. Now this is why a multi-band antenna 
would be preferred when you're using this feature. Now the antenna that I'm using is an NFED wire, but it has a remote tuner. And I think the last time I tuned it, it was for the 40 meter band, but we're still seeing signals on other bands. And um, thanks for the QSO. Uh, Mike one, Echo United Zulu. No, Mike zero was it, I think. Uh, or is it Mike one? I'm not sure. <laughs> Cannot read my, what I'm <laughs> writing here on the paper. Now this is great if you want to monitor the band conditions all at the same time. I forget relying on internet based predictions, just look at the conditions in real time from your own antenna. Now, another cool feature is that you can create your own matrix layouts using the organizer feature within SDR console. Now, you can select a frequency range, size, position for each of those bands that you wish to monitor. Now, when you're in matrix viewing mode, you can click on any of the signals from any of the windows. Now the modulation type, like whether it's lower sideband or upper sideband, that's actually controlled from the main window still. As mentioned earlier, you can set SDR console to have separate receivers and each receiver could have different audio outputs like through virtual audio cable. Now that would be a cool feature because if you wanted to set up a kind of digital mode skimmer that receives, decodes and uploads received stations on modes like FT8, or maybe you want to monitor each band's SSTV frequencies so you don't miss any SSTV transmissions. I guess there's many more things you could do with being able to receive the whole of the HF band at the same time. As we're using software, we can pipe the audio out to any other application that we want to, to decode it, record it, or literally do whatever we want with it. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and the demonstration of viewing the full HF band using the RX888 Mark II SDR receiver. Until the next video, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Romy November Uniform, you're 59. Very good, ciao, India, Kilo 4, Lima, Zulu Hotel, calling and listening. Delta Kilo 6, Tango Whiskey. Delta Kilo? Delta Kilo 6, Tango Whiskey. Delta Kilo 6, Tango Whiskey, 59. Okay, roger, roger, Paul, thanks very much. You're in the log, and uh, at least we got the call sign that time. The conditions here are really, really poor here today. Uh, we've got quite a high noise level, so it's really, really difficult to copy you. But good to get you in the log. Name Simon for, for your log, over. Uh, Golf Bravo 3, Romeo Sierra. Golf Bravo 3, Romeo Sierra. QRZ, museums on there, over. 